Last year, the LEGO group had artificially generated images of Ninjago characters up on their website for full display. And more recently, they've been looking for an intern to work with generative AI. Now, even though those Ninjago pictures were removed, and even though that job listing has since been taken down, whether because of backlash or whether because it was filled, we do not know. It's obvious by now that, whether you like it or not, in some way or other, artificial intelligence will play a part in the LEGO group's future. And that begs the question, how close are we to LEGO sets being entirely designed by AI? I think that this is an interesting and important question to ask as far as LEGO is concerned, because we're a lot closer than you might think. The technology to do it, in fact, already exists. So it's not a question of when will the AI be advanced enough to do this, it already is. It's a question of when will the LEGO group start using that AI? You see, ChatGPT doesn't work by thinking in the traditional sense, it uses highly sophisticated algorithms to determine what words have the highest probability of coming next in a sentence. And that is all that it's doing, based on an incredibly large amount of data, that being essentially the entirety of the internet, it figures out what words have the highest probability of coming next. If we can train a model like ChatGPT on something as complex as human language, to train it to determine what words are most likely to come next in something as nuanced and as intricate as a human discussion, then surely, training it to determine what LEGO brick has the highest probability of coming next in an instruction manual would be a cakewalk. So the question is, would LEGO use it? Well, like we saw earlier, I think they've already proven to us that they would use it. Whether they could use it is an entirely different question. Large language models are incredibly expensive to train, not just because of the enormous amount of data that they have to train on, but also because of the enormous amount of energy that requires. Currently, large language models account for about 0.5% of global energy consumption. Now, that might not sound like a lot, but you have to remember that the globe consumes a lot of energy. Half a percent of global energy is what the Netherlands, a first world country of almost 18 million people, consumes. Now, granted, there are a lot of chatbots out there, so each one individually doesn't account for that much. But the point is, even though LEGO might be a multi-billion dollar company, it kinda have to be more of a multi-trillion dollar company to produce your own AI model. Or, at the very least, a few hundred billion. So, until the price to train these bots starts to come down, assuming that that ever happens, LEGO at least has a financial barrier to AI-designed sets. And then there's also the issue of what to use to train this LEGO designing AI bot. As mentioned earlier, large language models train on an insane amount of data. Every book that they can get access to, every news article that they can get access to, every blog post, Reddit thread, transcript, anything that they can gain access to, they will use to train their large language model. And it's that sheer amount of data that really makes ChatGPT and other bots like it so good. And although the LEGO group has made thousands of sets over the years, that still isn't quite as much data as the entirety of the internet. So the question is, if you were to train a LEGO designing AI bot on all of these LEGO sets, would it be enough to create a bot sufficiently advanced to design new LEGO sets? Yes, LEGO building is far less complicated than human language, but it still has a lot of nuance to it. So it's a question of, would the amount of available LEGO data right now be enough to train an artificial designer to produce a set that is up to the quality standards of the LEGO group? And if so, is there a limit to how complex or large it could be? Would you have to pull in fan designs in order to have enough data to train your AI model on? And would that taint the model at all with illegal build techniques or poor stability? Maybe only time will tell. 
ultimately, there are still a lot of hurdles to an artificially designed Lego set. But unfortunately, the biggest hurdle for an AI Lego designer, that being the technology to make it happen existing in the first place, is already behind us.